Hey fans, the Abbotsford Heat welcome the Chicago Wolves to town for two games in two nights in the sixth and seventh meetings of the season between these two clubs. It'll be the fifth time in the last ten games that the Wolves and Heat have seen each other, and the first three have all been one goal games. We have a chance to catch up with Ben Walter, riding a hot streak, heading into this weekend's action. Ben, been in a bit of an offensive rhythm of late. How's it felt? It's felt good. You know, I uh, missed some games with the injury there and kind of fell out of rhythm for a bit coming back. But, uh, you know, the team's been playing a lot better the last couple of weeks, so it's been, it's been nice to factor into that. This will be the fourth and fifth times you play Chicago in the last ten games. Uh, are you sick of these guys yet? <laughs> a little bit, yeah, but uh, it's always fun when they come here to play. It's, uh, we get some, a lot of good fans out and uh, always exciting games, so it should be good. Uh, the lockout's over. Distraction or motivation or a bit of both? I think it's more motivation for us. You know, it's we've been waiting for it for you know all year pretty much and kind of doing our thing down here. But uh, you know, it's it's big news, especially here in Canada, and it's great for hockey, and we're all happy about it. But we can't let it be a distraction right now. We got two big games uh, coming up. Last Saturday's 3-1 win over Rochester saw defenseman Joe Callahan put two assists on the board. He was named the second star of the game. We caught up with the rear guard to talk about this weekend. How are you feeling about your game right now, Joe? Uh, better than I was a few weeks ago, a few months ago. Um, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of adjusting to a new team and new systems and coaches. And uh, But yeah, better. You know, I'm feeling better and I think a lot of our team is too. There's a lot of guys that, you know, have maybe picked up some play lately and uh, we feel good in there. Uh, you've seen a lot of the Wolves of late. What does this team do well? And as a defenseman, what challenges do they pose? Well, they got a pretty good combination of a lot of things. They're pretty good with their sticks. They got some big guys, some smaller guys that are fast. So, you know, different lines pose different challenges. And we'll see what the matchups are and who they get playing together. And, um, you know, they're, they're a good team. But uh, we've played them pretty hard this year. So, you know, it's a really big weekend for us. And we get to come out strong. You enjoy the big crowds when uh, the Chicago team's in town? Is that fun? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to have uh, you know, all those fans in the building, a nice loud atmosphere, so we're all looking forward to it. Thanks for your time, Joe. Thanks a lot. With NHL training camp set to start on Sunday, we caught up with Cale McLean to talk about a busy time for transactions. Well, the main thing is that uh, logistically we got some movement, whether it's going up to the next level or coming in, you know, and then as a result, you, when it comes to bringing in new people to our system, we want to make sure that they're dialed in in terms of how they play. So it's sort of a twofold situation. You got to get them here, and uh, that involves travel and everything and arrangement, but at the same time, you also got to work with them and make sure that they can fit seamlessly inside of uh, what we do. How's Drew McKenzie doing back from uh, training camp originally and then down to Utah for the first half of the season? He's done well. Obviously, the time in training camp helps him. He's got some familiarity with how we're running our systems and uh, someone that uh, you can see he's excited to be here. He's done well down in the ECHL, so it's always good to get someone in his shoes and he's carrying momentum into our situation, and hopefully we can run with that and uh, you can get him off to a good start at the AHL level. You sick of the Wolves yet? This will be games four and five in your last ten against them. Certainly. Having done pre-scouts on them, I've uh, seen quite my fill of the Wolves, but it's certainly a fun game. You know, when you get a lot of people in the building, it's really exciting, so it'll be fun to uh, play a rival of, you know, Vancouver nearby, so we'll have fun. Thanks, Kel. Thank you, Ryan. Each of the last three meetings between these clubs have been one goal games. Buckle up. It should be fun with two huge crowds this weekend. Go Heat, go.